Welcome to Riga. The Eurovision Party 2016 is taking place. It's the second time they do this in Riga. And they have invited nine fantastic artists of this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Next to us is a lady that's a veteran at the Eurovision Song Contest. She's been there before in 2011. We have seen Polly Genova hosting the Junior Eurovision Song Contest in Bulgaria fantastically. Thank you very much. You're very kind. So tell us, first of all, how are the memories from 2011 in Germany? Because you've been there before. Oh, I can tell you a million things about it, but emotion, emotion and uh, a lot of excitement. Uh, maybe the best time of my life. Mm -hmm. but, but maybe, but maybe in Stockholm we're going to have more, more, more crazy things. So um, I really am super excited. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to this event. So it might be the better time of your life. But yeah. you, you hosted the Junior Contest amazingly in, in Bulgaria. Thank uh, you. You're also doing a lot more of hosting on, on Bulgarian television, right? Yes. What type of shows are you hosting there? Um, now the new show that I'm hosting is um, a music chart. Mm -hmm. uh, the only independent national music chart in Bulgaria. It's on the national uh, Bulgarian TV. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, as well, I'm a part of uh, the show called, the original title is uh, Your Face Sounds Familiar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a very, very funny show. Um, if you know what, what is about, do you know what is about it? No, no, I don't know. Um, artists, different artists and actresses and singers and musicians, uh, we're eight. Um, we had a task, it's 12, well, the show is going to be 12 weeks and uh, each, week, each week we have a task to be mm -hmm. a different uh, singer from all over the world. For example, on Monday, after two days, I'm going to be The weekend, and I have to sing a Can't Feel My Face song. So <laughs> I'll be black with a mask, mm -hmm. I will look exactly like him. So. Um, oh, a lot of fun, all the time. <laughs> you, you are su such a charming lady, you are always smiling and you're always in a good mood. You, what, how do you do this? Are you ever in a bad mood, for instance? Uh, are there moments of course where? I've got a bad mood, but you know, because this is my work, I, and I love it so much, mm -hmm. and um, it, it comes from my heart. The smile and everything else, it just came from my and heart. We see that, we feel that, the smile. <laughs> It, it's amazing. Uh, you hosted the Junior Contest and would you do also want to host the Eurovision Song Contest? Whoa, this will be a great pleasure. Hmm, this is one of my new dreams. <laughs> okay, fantastic, fantastic. So what was the dream until now, the old dream that you had? Uh, the miracle that I've told you about. Um, because for sure uh, this year uh, is my second chance on Eurovision. So. Mm -hmm. I really, really, I really hope that we're going to have miracles, if you know what I mean. Of course, of course. <laughs> um, Inat, in 2011, now you have a new song for Eurovision 2016. Tell us about the creation of the song and what is the message you want to bring across? Well, the message, the message is absolutely pure and strong. Love, the greatest power of all. Uh, love between everyone in the world, between uh, not just between lovers, between a family, between a uh, mother and a child. Mm -hmm. Uh, between friends, uh, this is this is the fight, the big fight that we all fight uh, together because of stupid things all the time. But the, the only thing that save us it's the love. So if love was a crime, then we would be criminals. Yeah, yeah, indeed. So Fantastic. Good it's answer. a great it's a, it's a great um, metaphor mm -hmm. for for the greatest power of love. Well, you and Ira Losko have been before at Eurovision. Ira from Malta. What advice would you give to the uh, new competitors that you are now here in Riga with Jus uh, is new and you're also from Estonia, Yuri is, is new to the contest, to so the newcomers. What, what advice would you give as a veteran to Eurovision for them? I think the Estonian uh, participant uh, said it, just to enjoy the moment. Because the moment is so precious. Mm -hmm. Maybe it will come just once and once in a life, lifetime. So this is the moment. Enjoy it, feel it and okay. just... Uh, be, I don't know, be happy with it. That's good. Well, Eurovision is around the corner in a few weeks' time. It's happening all in Stockholm, mm -hmm. big, big Eurovision city. Uh, how will you prepare for, for, uh, for this big event coming up? Uh, a lot of preparation. Not just uh, practicing singing, but uh, practicing the, the staging. Um, talking about um, the clothes. The vision, because it's a Eurovision. Let's not forget. Of course, of course, yeah. And uh, I don't know. Maybe um, I'm I'm trying to think about what it's going to be. I'm just um, 
preparing my, my thoughts, preparing my um, uh, physics, every, everything should be very calm. Uh, I have to be more confident, of course, because I'm already experienced, but the, but the others are really cool. Mm -hmm. I just met them and uh, I think that they're a great artist mm -hmm. and the competition will be very hard. It will be very tough, but yeah. uh, I'm sure you will, you will bring Bulgaria into the final and hopefully that miracle will hopefully, happen for you. Hopefully, yes. Pauli, it's been great to chat with you again. Thank you. We wish you all the well. best of luck on, uh, on the big days in, in Sweden and see you in Amsterdam next, I think. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, viewers and listeners from Radio International. Thank you for the support. You are wonderful. I'm Pauli Genova from Bulgaria. Mwah.